and we are heading to Georgia, the country. What time did we get here last time? Like five or something? Yes, we landed at midnight. We got here like four, I think flights are off at eight. Uh, something like that, yeah. Time to go find the good duty free. After we walk a mile. So it was a very long, long walk to get to where we needed to go. Luckily there were these uh, moving sidewalks so that we could get where we needed to go much more quickly. And fortunately a lot of people did kind of know how to use them so they did move out of the way, which can be a struggle when you're flying because people always don't always move out of the way. So the gate won't be available for another, what time is it? One hour, it's 11.30. For one hour we won't know which gate we're supposed to be at. So we're gonna go find the good duty free section get hydrated possibly do free internet again i don't know probably should just so that we can let people know where we're at and that we're on schedule um and then drink like 47 liters of coffee so yeah some turkish souvenirs for people um so yeah and we have found out that in an airport if you have an American bank, you want to use an American card because it's cheaper than cash because the bank um, negotiates fees. So the like, exchange rate. yeah, and the bank can negotiate this, the exchange rate. We got coffee here last time and the cash price was like 12 bucks, but Matt looked at the bank account and it was actually nine because we used the card. So if you ever go to internationally travel, make sure your card can travel with you that sounded like a MasterCard commercial. <laughs> Going where you go. <laughs> but from Georgia to Turkey is it considered international? Because it it's be. regional? Yeah. Oh, kind of like Texas to Mexico? No, that's considered international. <laughs> well, if you're. Uh, I was going to say like Texas to Oregon. <laughs> But they are like separate countries, but... They, they might be in like, like a... They have like open borders. Ah, yeah. yeah, like how we do with Canada and Mexico? Yeah, that's what I meant. Right? Gotcha. Like, yeah, we have to show our passport, but it's not like... You don't have to, actually. You can just use your driver's license if, if you're going... Back. If you fly, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, yes, if you fly. Yes, so that is where the rest of it is. Matt got me this. What is it? Gold? Uh, no, it's it's brass. It's called. Um, I have this little like pin that's like this big that I have in my EDC that I'm not even EDC. <laughs> it's just kind of in my bag. Um, but they were very concerned about it like a little brass pin. They were very concerned. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a really popular... Yeah, it uh, just looks like a... Pin. It's like a little cylind cylindrical, like, long I got pin. you one in brass. Right here. Me one in black. Yeah, so they were very concerned about it. Are you going to the restroom? No. There was... We didn't know what they were talking about, but some guy was like, do you have this? And then so he said something. And that reminded me of the little pin that was in the bottom. So, that was fun, but now Matt has used the restroom. And then we're gonna go find water, soda, water, coffee, internet. And then our gate. And this is an extremely bougie airport. We got Louis Vuitton over there, Dior, Celine, Laura Piana, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Yves Saint Laurent, Bottega Veneta, and Hermes. I bet you 
it's four times more than if you were actually to go to the stores outside of an airport, but they like to live it up. Also, we're a little confused if we needed to go through a transfer point, um, but then we realized that apparently Scart Velo, Georgia, and Turkey probably have an open border agreement, which means even though you're flying between the countries, it's not technically an international flight. So when you do get here, you have to go through an international transfer checkpoint. Um, so we learned that today. Hibiscus. Oh, hibiscus? Oh yeah, you would know. Wow. So, as far as it's like you have a mouthful of potpourri, no sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. We're going to pick one. Um, mm. Can you do like a, one of these? Pistachio. I'm saying maybe one of these. Lots of different. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, that's heavy. It doesn't have pistachio left. <laughs> it does. has big pistachio. pistachio. <clears throat> yeah. And that looks like a. I don't know, but not. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Also try a hibiscus. Hibiscus Turkish delight. Like. What did you say it was like? It tastes like eating potpourri. But then it got sweet and like the sweetness mixed with the potpourri taste good. The texture was really weird at first too. Yeah. It was really good, so we got a palette of it. <laughs> and some Turkish coffee and some fun little Kit Kats, so get some protein in and then hopefully by the time we're done. Our gate will be called and we'll know where to go. We found our gate. And we ate food. And now we're going to go be lazy until we get to be lazy on a plane for 13 hours. Our flight here was 11. Our flight going is 13. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> we have found our gate. Um, and we got lost a few times because it was confusing. And we're like an hour early, so we are hanging out, charging stuff up before we get on the double digit hour flight back home. So, yep. so we have made it to the gate. And that is how we're going to get to the plane. Growing up, that's how it was a lot at like international airports until they started getting bigger. You would load onto a bus. The bus would drive you out onto the tarmac. Well, actually, even at larger airports, I've seen it before just because they get really busy. So they'll load you up um, on a bus, drive you out onto the tarmac. You walk up the stairs you get on your plane. It's not that fun. It's, it's, it's not fun. I don't like it at all because it's going to be cold. Actually, what temperature is it right now? 44 Fahrenheit. <laughs> 44 Fahrenheit, but it's sunny, so not horrible. But, yeah, the security checkpoints here are intense.
the big one. We're sitting in the back of the plane. So. So since it was going to be a pretty large flight, it was a pretty long time waiting for everyone just to get on board. And this had one of my favorite games, which is just this little city, silly, hidden object game. Um, they had it on all the planes, but I figured why not take advantage of it now, since there really wasn't much else going on. So if you've ever played it before, let me know. Honestly, it's one of my more favorite, um, just because it's really easy to just forget how or what time it is and then some pool um i we were able i think to figure out how to play each other because you could kind of like play each other if you know what seat you were in and since we were sitting right next to each other knew we knew what seat we were in and i would say my so with the seats if you leaned back you lost leg room so i kind of tried to sit more upright and just utilize the footrest in front of me and getting ready to go the animation for this one was probably the most well done <laughs> um, more taxi like I said it was a really large airport and tons of planes were flying out that day you can see one flying out another different plane flying out um, and we were kind of in a line that you could see every time we kind of turned a corner you could see that there were planes in front of us um, also brought a book uh, by it's The Last Wish by The Witcher. If you've been watching The Witcher, highly suggest um, reading the books and playing the games. Matt's decided, Matt decided to take a, a nappy nap. He had kind of strategized how to handle the 13-hour flight. I just planned on staying up um, for as long as possible because if I slept, I was going to be all messed up. We're taxiing away from Turkey. Like I said, Lots of planes that were in line to leave that day. Later on, kind of figured out it might have been because of what was going on in the Ukraine. So a lot of people were just trying to get out as quickly as they could. And now we leave. Goodbye, Turkey. It was a pretty rough start to the flight, too. I don't know if it was the timing or the weather, but it was, um, it was a pretty rough takeoff. Should have known that that was mainly how the rest of the time was going to go but got to see some of the beautiful turkish countryside and some of the city it was really more spread out than i was expecting it to be um this is also near istanbul so i don't know maybe if it's different in different parts of turkey but it wasn't as compact as i had expected and we did have functioning cameras that were either forward and looking down or just forward um, so we could also see what was right beneath the plane as we took off. So here we go, 13 hour plane ride. Thank you. 
Welcome to me after these 15 years in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right.